Hey, what's up guys? It's Scares here. Now our first story of today comes from Twitch. Okay, so I'm sure you guys probably know that a few months ago, Twitch has implemented new rules that made it actually stricter for people to use copyrighted music on their streams. And recently it looks like Twitch has been deleting a ton of old VODs and clips from streamers here. And this is actually really scary stuff because it looks like a lot of streamers could have their channels banned if they do not delete all the copyrighted content on their channel. Slasher tweeted out saying the Twitch DMCA bloodbath has begun as hundreds of partnered streamers have received receive emails from Twitch as DMCA takedown notifications. Twitch streamers now get to experience the archaic insanity of music industry record label BS that YouTubers have had to deal with for years. And yet Twitch has somehow managed to do an even worse job for creators than YouTube. So what Slasher is showing here is that Twitch is sending out emails right now telling streamers that they are deleting their own VODs because they apparently have copyrighted content in them. Devin tweeted out saying it is insane that Twitch informs partners that they deleted their content and that there is more content in violation despite having no identification system to find out what it is. Their solution to DMCA is for creators to delete their life's work. This is pure gross negligence. So you have many of the top streamers on Twitch right now deleting all of their old VODs because they're scared that their content might get taken down by Twitch. The massive streamer XQC just tweeted this out a couple hours ago. He says, I just deleted what is probably dozens of terabytes of clips, including all of my past VODs from my Twitch channel. Years of memories are all gone. Don't worry, corporate billionaires. I am now complying with the laws to make sure you have enough pocket change for ice cream today. Even Pokemon came out last night and she says here that she has to delete a lot of her old clips. Just watch this. Lyric's gonna delete his VODs? Well, guess what? It's not just Lyric. Today, tomorrow, at some point, you guys are gonna come across my channel and there's gonna be zero content. Now, one guy on Twitter actually had a different opinion on this. His name is Alex. I mean, he's verified on Twitter, so he must be a very important person. He tweeted out saying, streamers worried about getting their content pulled because they use music they didn't pay for should be worried by the fact that they're streaming games they didn't pay for as well. It's all gone as soon as publishers decide to enforce it. He then tweeted out here saying, the real truth is that the streamers should be paying the developers and publishers of the games they stream. They should be buying a license like any real business and paying for the content they use. So he's saying here that people should now have to pay in order to actually share gameplay in their videos and streams. So these tweets made a ton of backlash. You had lots of YouTubers coming out here saying that this is a terrible take from him. I mean, even Mr. Beast was tweeting out here saying that he got completely ratioed. The massive YouTuber Jack guy responded here saying, I find this extremely ironic considering you have fan art of me, a streamer, as your banner from when I played Savage Planet. You've even cropped out their watermark in the banner and haven't given them credit for it anywhere. Very hypocritical critical. So Jack exposed this guy for being so hypocritical that he is literally tweeting this out on the same account where he had stolen artwork from another designer here. Now our next story of today's video comes from KSI. Okay, so KSI recently went on Instagram Live to promote his new song, and while KSI was live with tens of thousands of viewers, a lot of his fans are watching this, he actually showed here that he was not wearing any pants, and he didn't realize that he wasn't wearing pants in this stream. Just watch this. Go offline. Come on. Ah, oh, bro, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna do it from here. Uh, there we go, baby. Oh, you hear that? You hear that? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. You can see my. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Bro, uh, I need to put my chocolate. <laughs> Oh, no, both. Oh, bro. Oh, yo, that's it. Hold on. Oh, man. Man. Oh, my God. This is that's mad. Hey. <laughs> I would get mad to a short to that. Bro, I'm a bit mad. My bad. Hey, yo, really love out now, baby. Hey, yo. Okay, so tens of thousands of people saw this, and obviously KSI was very embarrassed over this. KSI, they went on Twitter and responded here saying, fuck my life. Now, our next story of today comes from the YouTuber known as Corpse Husband. Now, if you guys don't know who Corpse is, he actually was a YouTuber who used to make a lot of horror story videos, and he had a very big channel, okay? But recently, he's been making videos on Among Us, okay? He's been playing with a lot of the top YouTubers on this game, and he's made some very entertaining content on Among Us. He's actually one of the top Among Us creators right now some of these videos have millions of views i mean they are so entertaining he is so good at playing the imposter on this game but earlier this week it looks like corpse was in some controversy because actually some people were calling him out 
for some of his old horror story videos where he had said the D word here. One fan tweeted out here saying, by the way, I don't want Corpse Husband to get canceled at all, but I do want an apology because as a lesbian, I have a lot of trauma related to that word and I want him to realize that he shouldn't have said it. So you have people who are lesbians themselves coming out here saying that him saying the D word was offensive and wrong and they want him to apologize for this. So a few days ago, Corpse actually came out and apologized for saying this word on his old videos. And this video has over 1 million views on Twitter of him apologizing here. Just watch this. Hey, wanted to address this whenever I did the Q&A live stream so I could better explain it on a bigger platform live, but I woke up to a ton of DMs from people and I thought I should do it right away. For those of you who don't know, primarily I've done true horror story narration for years on my channel. The stories are sent in by my viewers, they write all of it, and I narrate their story to share their experience of what they've gone through with the world. These are real life experiences of, like, real shit that people go through. About a year ago, I was sent in a story from someone who's trans. I was glad to cover this story despite some backlash I might get from, like, boomers and shit because I wanted to show the struggles of what trans people go through. And I support trans people. TLDR, the story is about an old Christian woman who is trying to hurt them and do horrible things to them. During the story, the person who is trans is called the D-word. In the video, I read the word out loud. And I realize now I shouldn't have done that. I didn't realize the severity of the word, or else I obviously wouldn't have said it. There are over 2,000 comments on the video and none of them mention it. I had no idea this hurt anybody at all. And that's the last thing I want to do. I've taken the video down now. I understand my mistake, and I'm sorry. Thank you to the people trying to teach me about this. Some people were just blindly hating me, but most of the people I've seen have been very reasonable. And I really appreciate that. I'm probably going to get off everything for a little bit. Thank you. Now our next story comes from PewDiePie. Okay, so recently it looks like PewDiePie could have been shadow banned on YouTube. I mean, it definitely looks like there was some type of bug here, but when you searched up PewDiePie on YouTube, you did not actually get PewDiePie's own channel. The YouTuber Deftonal tweeted this out last night. He says, PewDiePie may have been shadow banned by YouTube. His channel no longer appears in the search results, and only one of his videos appears in top search results. His latest video got 34,000 views, 1,000 comments, and 4.8 thousand likes in one hour. I mean, PewDiePie's video was clearly not in the search results, I mean, look at how badly this video is doing. PewDiePie's videos usually make hundreds of thousands of likes in the first hour, but this one only had a couple thousand likes. It was actually insane. I've never seen a PewDiePie video do so poorly, and it wasn't even PewDiePie's fault. I mean, his fans love the video. And this has led a lot of people to think that YouTube has officially shadow banned PewDiePie from the entire platform. So YouTube themselves came out yesterday, and they say here that they're actually going to look into this and hopefully fix this whole issue. They say, we are hearing reports that PewDiePie's channel and some videos are not servicing within searches. We are currently working on fixing the issue. We are sorry for any inconvenience this has caused. So it looks like eventually this whole problem was in fact fixed. PewDiePie's channel is showing up on search results now and his last video did do okay. But it is very scary that this just randomly happened yesterday and hopefully this is just a one-time bug on YouTube. Now our next story of today comes from David Dobrik. Okay, so David recently has taken a long break from YouTube. Ever since this whole pandemic happened, David made a vlog saying that he was going to quit YouTube for the time being and he hasn't made any videos since. A lot of fans are very upset with this. One fan tweeted out yesterday saying, I can't believe we are surviving the pandemic without David Dobrik's vlogs. And you have a ton of people liking and retweeting this because fans want to see David's vlogs. Well, it looks like David Dobrik has in fact come back to YouTube. And this vlog completely blew up because David got Sasha Baron Cohen himself to be in his vlog. It was actually huge and it was extremely funny. And David tweeted this out afterwards. He says, just two immigrants trying not to get deported. Now our next story of today comes from the YouTuber known as Bradley Martin. Now I'm sure many of you guys know who Bradley is. He's a very well-known fitness YouTuber. And if you don't know, a couple months ago, Bradley had actually been doing protests in LA trying to get people to open up gyms. They want people to open up gyms because he feels like it's good for people's physical and mental health. You even had one of the Nelk boys, Steve, come out here and he was helping in protest here and it was actually a very big deal a few months ago. Now since these protests, it looks like Bradley Martin's gym, Zoo Culture, has opened up, okay? And Bradley tweeted out here showing that he got a letter from the state of California charging him with a misdemeanor because he's left his gym open. He tweeted out here saying, people of the state of California versus Zoo culture welcome to 2020 where gyms being open is criminal in california where mental and physical health is deemed non-essential so this was met with a lot of mixed feedback from fans here one fan responded saying you put the gym in la county la county has some of the worst numbers of cases in the state people not wearing masks in your gym just make it worse i support you but there are so many other counties that have been able to reopen their gyms 
because they actually listen. And our next story of today comes from Leafy. Okay, so it looks like Leafy had something really strange happen to his YouTube channel recently. If you don't know, a few months ago, Leafy was permanently banned off of YouTube. He can never make a YouTube channel again. But for some reason, YouTube had updated the stats on his channel, which is very strange. Commentary stats tweeted this out. They say, so after months, something updated. And he shows here that for some reason, Leafy's stats on his channel got updated on YouTube, which makes no sense. He responded saying, this doesn't normally happen with terminated channels. When a channel gets terminated, the YouTube API gets frozen in time. It never gets updated. Something weird is happening to his channel. Now, Leafy himself responded here saying, whoever is in charge is sick. Every time I start focusing on other shit, I get hooked and switched. YouTube loves doing this to me, actual abusive relationship. So obviously at this point, we don't know if Leafy's channel is going to come back, but it is very strange how his channel is still getting its stats updated. If something's going on there and we don't know what. Now our next story of today comes from the very popular YouTuber and streamer known as Tumad. Okay, so if you don't know, Tumad was banned off of Twitch over a year ago. And since then he's been streaming on YouTube and he has a very big YouTube stream. He makes tons of viewers every single stream, but it looks like just a few days ago, Tumad was unbanned off of Twitch. Even though he's permanently banned, they decided to unban him, which is huge. He tweeted out saying, I'm now unbanned from Twitch. He goes on to talk about how his ban was because of Dr. Disrespect, but he's just joking around here. It was not because of Doc. He was banned over a year ago. The YouTuber Nuxtaku responded to Tumad saying, it only took you getting 40,000 live viewers on YouTube for Twitch to change their minds. Now, speaking of the YouTuber and streamer Tumad, he tweeted out yesterday saying, please stop age restricting my videos at Team YouTube. And it looks like multiple videos from Tumad's channel were just recently age restricted from YouTube. This is very concerning stuff. I actually watched these videos and they don't seem bad to me at all. To be honest, it doesn't seem like they should be age restricted. Now, other big YouTubers have also been getting their videos taken down as well. Actually, the huge commentary YouTuber Ellis the Alien tweeted this out the other day. He says, people ruined among us got copyright claimed and removed. My channel has a strike. I'll try and re-upload it at a later date. So apparently his video was copyright strike. Now that's very scary stuff because if your channel gets three strikes, your entire channel will get terminated. And that's it for our video tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoy. If you do, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and I'll see you later. Peace.